Okay, so I was looking for a modeling exercise the other day and I happened to stumble upon this video. It's SAPD Modeling Quick Tips Episode 4 by Luxolog Luxology TV, the makers of uh, Modo, the package. I think I got here from the Godwise blog, a very good resource. I highly recommend it if you're interested in modeling, subdivision modeling, high poly modeling, that sort of stuff. It has many categories and especially the hard surface category has many 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 interesting tutorials. Give it a look if you'd like. So back to this one. This is the fourth video. The first three were okay but they were mostly about cutting surfaces on uh, cutting holes on a plane surface and I have no problem with cutting holes on a flat surface anymore. So it was no challenge. What is a challenge is cutting a hole on a curved surface and uh, even more so a curved surface that's uh, off axis not on a plane of uh, or not on one of the default planes x, y, z, what not but uh, on a plane uh, of existence of its own if you like you'll see right away what I mean so This is the video. Let's start by just hold shift. Create a new okay. stable editor. Let me shut this guy up. He's curving a cylinder. Let me just be more quick about it. He's turning it around so that it's off axis completely. Right. And he's choosing a polygon on the back on which he wants to cut the hole but in order to do that he creates a different plane you watch the video you'll see it it's quite interesting actually and what he intends to do is cut a hole that completely um, uh, how do you call that perpendicular to the surface it touches on the cylinder so let's try to do that Let me see if I can show you the end result. It will help. Something like that. And further refining it. That's it. So let's try it. As we get rid of the cube, I have screencast enabled so you can follow what I'm doing. Gradient cylinder, the view subdivision should be okay. I don't have a problem with that. Let's move it upwards and subdivide. Maybe 15 seems too much, but let's see. Maybe 12. 12 might be good. Might be good. Okay. So let's bend this. I think the simple deform modifier has some limitations still. I really don't like it. If you try to deform, it will try to deform on the Z axis. It doesn't give you an option which is very very frustrating and uh, not convenient at all. So what you have to do is take your vertices, lie, make them lie down. Ready? No. Like this. So the modifier can deform them. No, 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 no. That was a mistake too. Mm, something like that. And we give the sur the curved surface we wanted, and the triangles are the the faces are mostly square on the back at least okay mm, that should do so now we apply and we transform the hell out of this guy by using a trackball rotation let's make it like that okay so we want uh, cylinder that we 
pop right out of this vertex or this complex of faces or something that would pop out of the back of a cylinder. What uh, that guy does in Modo is to create a custom plane that he works on. I don't know if we have custom planes. I don't think we have custom planes in Blender. We have a different approach though. Well, you probably already know that we can create uh, custom transformation centers, orientation centers. So let's do that. Let's take this vertex as our center. And you can see that the normal of this vertex is right what we want. It's completely perpendicular to that vertex. It goes straight out of the vertex. And that does so uh, taking account of the curvature of the cylinder. So if we can hook up to this one, we're fine. And we'll do just that. We hide the normals and we create a Keys. We create a transform, a custom transform orientation, and we can call this what vertex one, v one. That's fine. We want to use that after the creation. Yes. You see, it's changed the z, the 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 z axis arrow points at the direction of the normal of that vertex. So if I drag this, it's going up or down where it should, not on these planes, the x, y, or x, z, or whatever planes. It's actually fine. I don't really care about where the other axes are pointing at, because I only care about the normal, the v1. So now that we have that, we can do one more cool thing to work. I mean, we created the custom transformation, that's fine, but we want to create a cylinder or a circle that we can extrude that's completely perpendicular to the vertex as well. How do we do that? Well, there's a trick. You press Shift and Numpad 7, and what that does is take, you, take the view and align it to that normal, to the normal we have selected. So, see, view, align view, align view to selected from the top view, that's what I did. I aligned the view to the normal of the selection. So, if my selection was faces, if it was this face, I would align my view to the normal of this face, completely. It's, in, uh, it's perspective mode now. So over here you can see that I can't see the blue arrow so I'm completely aligned to the z-axis if I was to select two faces and do that again I would have the average normal of these two faces and so on if I uh, selected these four faces it would be the um, average normal of these four faces which happens to be also the normal of this single vertex. Right. Well, I just thought that if I selected faces instead of vertex, I could also have my view aligned to the other axis as well. But it actually doesn't matter, really. So, okay. And I could create a, a custom transformation that would be aligned as well. It really doesn't matter. If I need to, I will. J for for s the sake of convenience, let's just do it. Right. I uncall it. What? F1. Faces. Whatever. Uh, some other custom transformation, transform orientation seem to be created and I don't really understand why I didn't create these. But in any case, I can delete all of them when I'm done. So, let's get on with it. Faces, it's faces, it's fine. We are aligned right now. So see, even though it doesn't show like in Modo, we are working on the plane we selected. We are on that plane by using the view. And you can see why that is very helpful because I select the vertex, 
we take our cursor there and we create a circle which will be of 8 vertices and will be aligned to you. Now isn't that convenient? Mm, let's drag this down with somebody about that somebody there. I think that should do. And you'll see a moment in a moment why. Okay. <coughs> So let's do something first. Let's take this circle, sorry. Let's take the circle <coughs> and make it touch the surface. So we can extrude afterwards. We need to ally align a view again. So we select this vertex, we align again, and now we select the circle and do this magical thing snap to face and project individual individual elements on the surface of other objects I think I need that so G enter it's as simple as that and when I rotate you see that the vertices of our circle have touched the surface of the cylinder very convenient and a pretty much a requirement for this kind of modeling so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine vertices. All these have to go to make room for our hole. Right. Let's start stitching. select this one and since we have you can see here that we have that custom orientation active the F1 see that the norm of the Z axis the blue the blue arrow is pointing straight up from this hole so we can take advantage of this and we'll do so right now extrude on the Z axis you I tap Z twice and you can see that uh, it shows the distance I'm extruding along F1Z, along the Z of my custom orientation. So, up here will be fine. Let's scale it on our custom Z as well. Let's keep things neat and clean. <coughs> and tap it. So, let's start subdividing to see where we're at. Bulge, that's fine. Let's inset that a bit. Let's inset that by the same amount. Seeing there is pretty much, ah, uh, well, let me add it all up here. Let's work on this one. Uh, personally, I prefer to not use this option, so I can see what I'm working on. And when I, uh, when I want to see the subdivided version, I just hit tab. It's pretty easy. 